Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm making a soap using this fragrance from Wholesale Supplies Plus. It's called Be Joyful and it smells really good and fruity and lovely. I think this is a distinctly feminine fragrance is what I'm going to call it. Let me read you the scent description here. I've got my computer off to the side. Um, it says uh, it's a fun flirty fragrance, opens with notes of mandarin slices, pink berries, uh, sheer water lily, while fruity floral fusion of tuberose, white peach are uh, warmed with notes of amber, musk, and sandalwood. That's a mouthful. I couldn't remember all that, so I had to read it off the computer. But um, it smells great. It's very complex. It's not like uh, sickly sweet or super floral, but it is, it's a bright floral fruity fusion. <laughs> Boy, that could be a tongue twister, couldn't it? Let's talk about the colors. The colors that this scent made me think of. I went back to my rack and just sort of looked. I'm like, what does this smell like? Well, these are the ones I chose. I chose Emerald Green Mica from Wholesale Supplies Plus. Isn't that beautiful? Along with Love and Sunshine from Nurture Soap. And I love this yellow. It's beautiful. So those two together, doesn't that look like a joyful combination. And I will uh, probably do a swirl in the body and do some piping on top. I'm thinking about doing rosettes and little like lemon drop dollops and just make this really beautiful and flirty and lovely. That's what's in my mind. I will make this an aloe vera soap today because I just thought it sounded good with everything and I love how aloe vera is in soap. So that will be the live portion aloe vera juice and I think that's it. I'm gonna get everything pulled together and let's come back and make some Be Joyful soap. So I'm back to put my additives in and it's actually additive singular, not plural, because today I'm just using kale and clay in this. I'm not gonna do colloidal oats, but I do have some other things to talk about. Let me show you what I found at the store in my uh, like the Easter decorating spring holiday aisle. These are Wilton. They're little bumblebee, um, just sugar pearls. Well, they're not pearls, sugar bees. <laughs> uh, so they're made out of sugar and they'll completely dissolve in the shower. So these little bees are gonna go down on the top. I was thinking of, you know, be joyful instead of be, -E, it would be be. -E -E. <laughs> So anyway, I thought they were so adorable. So these will be going down on top after I do all my piping. And for piping, let me show you, I have a Wilton, see if I can read this without my uh, readers on here. All right, this is a Wilton 32 tip that I will be doing little uh, yellow sort of, you know, sun drops of yellow in this tiny tip, a Wilton 32, and then for my um, piped rosettes. This is my favorite. My Wilton 1M is what I'm going to pipe the rosettes in. So that'll be the top and then those little bees will go down on top. The fragrance is already in here and I'm going to add my kale and clay to anchor the fragrance and sort of get absorbed into the oils. And then when my aloe vera lye solution is fully cooled, we will move forward. It's time to move forward. I've got my aloe vera lye solution here, which has cane sugar, tussa silk, and sodium lactate in here. Uh, it's aloe vera juice and distilled water, a 50-50 split. That's what's going on there. I have my colors dispersed off to the side here and just a little bit of distilled water all ready to go. And I will add some titanium dioxide to the um, uncolored portion here because the fragrance does have some vanillin, says that it discolors to tan, and I really want these swirls to be vibrant. I think I'm gonna do it in the pot swirl today. So I've said this a bunch of times, but I'll tell you what's going on. This is my titanium dioxide bottle. This is water soluble TD, and I do one part TD to two parts water. Uh, the other thing to note is if you are gonna use this up within a day or two, just let it go, but if it's gonna sit for a week or more, you need to put a little preservative in there since it has a water base. So this has just a touch of Optifen in there, but, um, and it depends, I'm not gonna tell you how much because it depends on how much you're making. Uh, you can also just mix it up fresh each time you use it and then you don't have to worry about that. But I like to grab this. There's marbles in there if you can hear to help keep it mixed up because it will settle out. Um, so you gotta shake it every time. But that's going a little bit and it's gonna go in the uncolored portion. All right, let me quit talking and let's add this lye solution in here. It smells really pretty. Um, this fragrance did not have a lot of reviews. 
A couple people said that it was very light after the cure, but still very nice. So it's not like an in-your-face fragrance, which I actually don't mind. Um, a lighter fragrance, sometimes that's really nice. All right. We're just going to go for emulsion and then get this off into the colors. it's the next day and I am so excited to get in here and see how that in the pot swirl came out doesn't that just make you smile it makes me to be joyful <laughs> I just think that's so happy loving those little bees on top I did cover this and let it go through gel phase last night so let's get in here and see what we've got going on the inside
All right, it's time to cut into these happy, happy loaves. And um, wow, the colors, so happy, just evokes springtime for me. Um, so now I've got to try to not lop off any of my little bumblebees here. <laughs> this is my challenge. Let's... All right, I think I've got it lined up. Yay, I missed all the bees. So some of these got two bumblebees and some got one because that's just what I had available. All right, let's see. Oh, pretty, look at that. Oh, that's enough to make you smile, isn't it? For real. So cute and the sides are so pretty. And I will tell you, um, I think this fragrance smells beautiful today. And it performed really well. It was kind of a medium mover. It wasn't a slow trace, but it wasn't a fast trace. It was very workable. And uh, I think it smells great. These are really, really just joyful, aren't they? These will bring joy, right? If you know somebody who needs a little joy, grab one of these. All right, next loaf. Look at those swirls. In the pot swirl is so fun because it really is just, uh, you never know what you're gonna get and I love that. So let's see if we can avoid the bees here. All right, let's see if we can make it without hitting any bumblebees. Yay, I think we did it. So cute. Well, this was fun. And I love springtime in my neighborhood in Tennessee, our little daffodils are so hardy and brave, they poke up early. Um, and <laughs> for instance, the week that I'm filming this, we were 70 degrees two days ago. And today, this morning when I'm cutting these, it's 25 and two inches of snow on the ground. So we are all over the place. The saying goes, if you don't like the weather, just wait a minute, it'll change. <laughs> so anyway, that's a Tennessee spring for you. But uh, those daffodils outside, they just are so cute and hardy and they pop up early every year and it freezes and they hang on. They're so hardy. I love seeing it. It's like the first sign of spring here for me is when I see those daffodils come out. Oh, that one's pretty. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna get this last loaf cut and get to beveling and stamping and all the goodness that goes into making these bars of soap. And thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really makes a difference on my algorithm and all of that. <laughs> and I just really appreciate you watching. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you're enjoying springtime and have a wonderful, wonderful day.